Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time, we were able to find an equation of the parabola in standard form given different conditions. We will continue what we have discussed from that. So, we're, we're now given the vertex, the horizontal axis of symmetry, and it passes through the point P, negative 5, and 12. Again, we are asked to find the standard equation of the parabola. First condition, the vertex is located at negative 3 and 8. So, this is our vertex. So, we're done with that condition. For the second condition, we have horizontal axis of symmetry. Once we say horizontal axis of symmetry, since the line is horizontal, therefore, our parabola now will have an equation. We'll have an equation y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times x minus h. Again, if we are dealing with horizontal axis of symmetry, this is the formula. But if we are dealing with vertical axis of symmetry, the formula is x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4c times y minus k. So do not be confused. This is the one that we will be using. Since the condition is that we are given horizontal axis of symmetry. And for the third condition, it now passes through the point negative 5 and 12. So if it is horizontal axis of symmetry and this is y, therefore our parabola now will open to the left or to the right. Are we clear? Okay, again. If it is horizontal axis of symmetry, our parabola will open to the left or to the right. So it will not open up or down since if, we are, if it is opening upward or downward, we are dealing with x squared. Okay, so for the last one, it passes through negative 5 and positive 12. So we will substitute this to the formula. So the vertex is now y minus k, therefore that is y minus 8 quantity squared is equal to 4c times x plus 3. Okay. So, since we do not have yet y and x, so we will be using this point in order for us to satisfy this equation. So, this is our x and this is our y. Therefore, that is 12 minus 8 quantity squared is equal to 4c times negative 5 plus 3. Okay. Since we need to get the value of c, let us now simplify. This is 12 minus 8, that is 4 squared is equal to 4c times negative 5 plus, plus 3 is equal to negative 2. Negative 4 squared is 16 is equal to 4 times negative 2 is negative 8c. Dividing both sides by negative 8, this is negative 8, cancel negative 8. Therefore, 16 divided by negative 8 is negative 2. Therefore, that is the value of C. Therefore, if our parabola now is, horizon uh, uh, is having horizontal axis of symmetry, it either is open to the left or to the right. Therefore, since C is negative 2, therefore, our parabola opens to the left. Okay, our parabola now opens to the left since the value of C is negative. So, let us now try to find the equation. So, using the equation for this one, we'll now be having y minus 8 quantity squared is equal to 4c times x plus 3. Substituting the value of C in the equation, we'll now be having y minus 8 quantity squared is equal to 4 times negative 2 times x plus 3. Simplifying y minus 8 quantity squared is equal to 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 times x plus 3. Therefore, this is now the equation of the parabola having conditions that the vertex is located at negative 3 and 8 and horizontal axis of symmetry. And the last condition is that it passes through the point negative 5 and 12. Remember, if it is horizontal axis of symmetry, this is the formula. If it is vertical axis of symmetry, the one having x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4c times y minus k. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something from my video tutorial. I am engineer Jod Edward Hernandez, your calculus teacher, saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.